Well, Antoinette, the Nationalist Socialist Club, or NSC 131, is the group behind all this, a group that the Anti-Defamation League has described as espousing racism, anti-Semitism, and intolerance. Now, the Lauren Greeno House in Jamaica Plain was hosting a drag queen storytime event for children on Saturday when the protesters arrived holding signs and chanting outside the gates. That sparked a confrontation with counter-protesters. The founder of NSC 131 and two counter-protesters were arrested and charged with disturbing the peace. I can't imagine anything that was more traumatizing that morning, uh, this morning, for the kids coming out of the event besides a bunch of masked, you know, people screaming at them. The minute you start to engage in any activity that's deemed to be violent, inappropriate, or, uh, or hateful, people are going to stand up and, and get rid of you. It was very heartening to me that Jamaica Plain said, uh, absolutely not. Now, new this morning, the Lauren Greeno House is speaking out, issuing a statement to New Center 5 that reads in part, the protest of a drag queen event was a tool to gain attention. Any concern for the well-being of children was absent. The Lauren Greeno House deeply appreciates our community who gathered across the street to support each other. Now, two of the people arrested again were counter protesters protesting against the neo-Nazi group. There is a solidarity rally scheduled for eight this morning here at the courthouse to urge the prosecutors to drop those charges. Reporting live West Roxbury, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.